Well, I've come to this conclusion, Paul. Paul Sylvain, you are allowing people to spam with nudity. These people are sending nude pictures of men's genitalia to people who watch my videos. And Paul, I've asked you several times to stop these people. When they email me, they say, Paul told us to do this. Paul sent us to do this. I've been videotaping these, uh, these messages, and I've been placing them in videos so people can see them. I've asked you several times to stop these people, Paul, and you've done nothing. All you have to do is hook up your camera and tell these people to stop, but you won't. These people have now began to target the people who watch my videos, Paul. That's one thing I've understood uh, about YouTube and one thing I've noticed about you. You love the people that watch you. You get a kick off the people that watch you. Now, what if I was to start showing these people that watch you what you are allowing people to do to me? What kind of childish activities that you participate in? Now, if someone is using your name, Paul, to terrorize other people on the Internet, it is totally your responsibility to stop these people. These people call themselves your fans. If your fans get fanatical when someone says something that they don't necessarily agree with about you, it is your responsibility. Your responsibility. Because it all lies on you. Because they're doing this in your name, Paul. So every time they, you know, send something foul to my general messages or send something foul to anyone who watches me, I'm going to tell these people to videotape their stuff and send it straight to you. It's your job, Paul, to rein in those who watch you. They're doing this in the name of Paul Sylvain. If you want to continue on YouTube, you need to rein in those people that watch your show and tell them. If someone has an opinion that's not necessarily one that's yours, then that's just an opinion, Paul. But if you're going to allow these people to keep on terrorizing me, I have no other choice but to return the favor. I have been nice enough to tell people not to do anything and not to say anything to you or anyone that watches your videos. Now I'm personally going to send these videos that I've been making out to everyone that I can send them to. So, Paul, these people who you allow to terrorize me is making it worse. You are a partner. And as a partner, you have certain responsibilities. And one responsibility, Paul, is not to say something that will drive your people crazy. Two, Paul, is not to allow the people who watch you do negative things on the Internet in your name. So, Paul, to make a long story short, I'm going to send everybody these videos. Um... There may be some friends of yours that end up with these videos because I, I know a lot of my viewers are starting to get the same uh, penile examinations uh, sent to them. Uh, a bunch of homosexual pictures of men kissing men videos mailed to them. These are people who your so-called people are targeting because I did one video about you. And the video says you come off creepy sometimes, and that's probably why women are starting to unsubscribe to you. That's all you should have got out of that video. But instead, you started some kind of cyber war. You told people to go after me and spam me. You told people to send stuff to me. So, at this late hour, I'm going to return the favor. So, I've asked you over the last eight videos to tell these people to stop I've tried to email you to tell you to tell these people to stop and you're not doing nothing so since you don't care I'm not going to go about it like you did I'm not going to go get a bunch of fake names and send people videos I'm going to send videos out under my name because I'm going to show you how real the real AIers can be if people see the activities that you're engaged in, they're more likely to unsubscribe more. Pretty much like that guy was telling me that if I didn't take these videos down, 
do kind of start going after the people that watch my videos. And today, several people have told me that they have been hit with this pornographic thing that you're sending out. It's not only disrespectful, but it's foul, Paul. This is beneath you. And you're going to let a handful of your viewers destroy your whole page? Then that's something I'm going to gladly sit back and watch. Because all these videos that I've been taking, I've been video down and I've been not video down and I've been copying and downloading these videos so I can put together a masterpiece video. I'm going to shut this down, Paul. There's going to be an exclusive Paul Sylvain video coming out. What I think is creepy about Paul is going to be the name of the video. Um, the video has been taken from several of your videos, Paul. So, it's going to be pretty interesting to watch how your facial expressions change. And I point out different things from this uh, book of psychiatry I have right here. You know, that I notice. I'm not threatening you, Paul. I'm just giving you my opinion. You have been threatening me for the last week, Paul. You either stop these goons, Paul, or I'm going to go in full production to show the world who exactly you are. And, um, you know, rather I win or lose because you're a partner. All these threats have been videotaped and documented. All of uh, the threats that have been made to me still remain inside my um computer here, the same one that your guys claim they hacked. Um, your attempt to get a new password for my YouTube account, I believe it failed because you didn't erase any, not a fucking one of those messages where these guys are saying, Paul, Mr. Savane says do this, Mr. Savane says do that. So Paul, you either call off the dogs in a video or I go in full production to defend myself I don't give a fuck if you're a partner or not partners do not deserve any extra rights to other than anything else that anybody else has on YouTube just because you're a partner that doesn't give you anything special and your videos aren't all that they're pretty good I like the clarity in your videos it's beautiful shit good shit but you come off creepy Paul and since uh, your boy's threatening to shut me down, I'm going to stand here and fight back. I might be the first man to ever stand up and fight back against a partner, but believe you me, Paul. I gave you plenty of opportunity to tell these people to stop, and you didn't. Come tomorrow. Come tomorrow. Things will be different. So, starting November 7th, you better get ready, Paul, because I'm going to expose you to the world. And everybody will see the true face of Paul Survey. Or do that video telling these people to leave me alone. And I will pull those videos that you don't like. Other than that, if I continue to get threats, Paul, I'm just going to put more videos out. For every fucking threat I get, sir, I'm going to come out with another video. Because I'm tired of these guys saying that Paul Savane told me to do this. Paul, Paul, Paul. I'm tired of hearing your name. I'm tired of seeing homosexual stuff sent to me. Homosexual videos. Man kissing man. Penis uh, stuff. I'm tired of that. That's childish, Paul. Especially from a partner. An esteemed partner. Big dollar partner. Your partnership is in question now. I'm pretty sure they're reviewing the tactics that you're using right now, Paul. You need to shut those clowns down, or those clowns will get you shut down. Tell them to stop, Paul, or YouTube will tell you to stop. Thank you. And you've been tuned by the real AIX. I'm not going to make up any fake names, Paul. This is real. I did one video which is back on the internet now because you did not do what I asked you to do. You will not dictate to me, Paul Sylvain. So if I have to stop doing all my other videos to take care of you, a nonsense, a nuisance, I will take care of you. Just like you're trying to take care of me. You've been tubed.